Hey, brothers and sisters, how y'all doing? I love you all. Um, welcome to another encouragement here at I'm Second Channel. My name is Brother Nobody, because it doesn't matter who I am. The only one that matters, beloved, is Yahushua Hamashiach, the son of our Abba Yah, our Elohim, our daddy. Hallelujah. Bless his holy name. Uh, we're going to be uh, talking about today our brother David, King David, and just showing like what's going on in his life and how it can coincide into our life and what's even going to be going on shortly and what's kind of going on because we're we're starting to to see the 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 heat turned up with this attempt to make the the word of Yah illegal. Um just the increased rhetoric, the gaslighting that's being done and thrown our way. And brothers and sisters, this is not the time to, to shoot back. This is not the time to, to get even. This is not the time to, um, to put people on blast. This is not the time to be exposing, um, Folks, I don't know, that's in the family of Yah that even say that they're saved. This is the time to mature. This is the time to turn up the prayers. This is the time to, to be united as one. Hallelujah. I was I was singing earlier, and then I found myself singing, and I'm going to just give you a little piece of this, one of those uh, songs when I was in the, still in the uh, European thought of Christianity, but it was an awesome song and you just have to just hear it as now I know this Jesus that they speak about to be Yahusha, but this song is just so cool. Listen to it a little bit and we're going to pray and get into the word. Okay, family. Hallelujah. There's not a friend like my King Yahusha. No, not one, no, not one, no one can heal all our souls' diseases. No, not one, no, not one, Yahushua knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like our King Yahusha. No, not one. No, not one. Hallelujah. Abba Yah, thank you so much just for another day. Thank you for the family of Yah. Thank you for true Israel. Thank you for Jacob. Hallelujah. Thank you for your sacrifice, uh, our King, laying down your life for us, pouring out your life's blood for us, that we could have eternal life, that we could be saved. We must be born again, Nicodemus. Thank you so much, Father. We are so thankful to you that we can have this community of believers, born again uh, Hebrew Israelites, along with born again Gentiles who believe the same. I pray for our families, Father, our grandparents, our parents, our our ourselves, Father, our brothers and sisters. We pray for our siblings, Abba Yah. Our, our sons and our daughters, our aunts and uncles, nieces and nephews, cousins, Father. We pray for our friends and enemies alike, Father. If we're, uh, if we're, if we have your heart, we pray for many to be born again, not brought into religion, but brought into a relationship with you. We bless your name today. Thank you for our brothers and sisters who come to this channel. Bless them, Abba Yah, tremendously. Open doors for them, Abba Yah, but draw them to your very heart. I pray that you would bless this, this reading today and that your spirit would be present. As your word says, when two or three come together, there you are in the midst of us. 
And we'll be so very careful, Abba Yah, to give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, for it all belongs to you. And it is in the name of your son, Yahushua Hamashiach, our king, our savior, our brother, our friend, our high priest, the, the beautiful one of Israel, that we do pray and say, Amen, so let it be. Brothers and sisters, today we're going to be reading about our um, our brother, King David. And what I'm believing, uh, what's in my spirit is that there are things similar to what happened to David that's about to happen to us, beloved. As these, um, as the heat is turned up on us and our faith is being tested, we have a place to run to, to the secret place of the Most High. Psalm 91, when you get a chance, read that this week. Study, let these things be so in your life. Hallelujah. And so we thank Abba Yah, we thank Yahuwah for giving us a place to go. Hallelujah, into the secret place. But this is what David was doing in his life, I believe. But we're going to read it from a different aspect, okay? But just hold on and listen and kind of see where we go from here. Hallelujah. Psalm 91. This is when David was running from King Saul, who twice tried to pin him to a wall with a spear, and who, because of jealousy and hatred of him, knowing that he was going to be the king, was after him. And David fled. He had to get away. And he had to go to a place that he could be safe and feel safe. And we're starting here in Second uh, in First Samuel chapter twenty-two and beginning in verse one. Just hear me out, beloved. Okay, remember the the likes. Remember to subscribe. David therefore departed thence. When this this was when he was trying to kill King Saul, who was a man of Yah himself, because the Bible said that the, the spirit of Yah came on Saul to anoint him king, but he was disobedient. So the spirit lift off of him. But it says when the spirit came on to Saul, he became another man. Have you become another man, beloved? We must be born again. Have you become another woman's sister? Therefore, David departed thence and escaped to the cave of Dullam. And when his brethren and all his father's house heard it. They went down thither to him. Sometimes you just, we got to just gather together and huddle together, beloved. Again, this was a place that the, his enemies couldn't find him. But it says, and everyone that was in distress, everyone that was in debt, Listen, listen, hallelujah. This is the word of Yahuwah. Everyone that was in distress, are you distressed today? Everyone that was in debt, hallelujah. Do you have debt? Do you owe people? Everyone that was discontented, are you like not satisfied with being here? We are strangers in this world, right? Gathered themselves unto the king. This is the time when we gather ourselves family unto the king. And he became captain over him. You know he is our general, Yahusha. He be, he's the captain of our salvation. We need to gather unto him. Are you in distress, beloved? Do you have debt? Are you discontented with your fleshly life? Join me in gathering unto Yahushua, our King. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto Abba Yah, our Father, our Elohim, but by Him. We cannot 
enter the kingdom without his son. He does have a son. And everyone that was in distress, everyone that was in debt, and everyone that was discontented gathered themselves unto him, unto the king. Will you join me? Not just today, not just this week, but in procession, in in, in a covenant that we will make family to covenant ourselves to Abba Yah, to, to gather unto him with all our problems. And he became captain over them. Will you make him your captain today and follow his orders to walk by faith and not by sight? To turn away from wickedness and, and live under the grace that gives you the strength to overcome your sins. And there were with him about 400 men. It wasn't a lot of people. It's over 4,000 people that are subscribed to this channel. Many of us brothers and sisters have used channels with many people following them, listening to them daily. And we're all trying to point you all and ourselves, direct us to Yahusha. But it's a small number. See, everyone that says, yes, I'm fired up, let's do it, won't do it, beloved. We have to be committed to this. We have to, to make a covenant amongst ourselves to return to other young. If there were with him about 400, only 400, there is only going to be uh, a remnant beloved that's saved let's go to another one this is in Psalms chapter 57 and this is when David wrote while he was in that cave so let's continue to the chief musician Alta Shith Miktam of David, a psalm of David, when he fled from Saul in the cave, he said this, beloved, please get in the spirit over this. Be merciful unto me, O Yah. Be merciful unto me, he says it twice, for my soul trusted in thee. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge. See, it links to Psalm 91. Under the shadow of the wings of the Almighty, right? I will cry unto Yahuwah Most High, unto Yahuwah that performeth all things for me. All things. He performs all things for you. Whatever we need, we can go to Him, beloved. We can trust Him. He's gathering those that are distressed, that are in debt, those that are discontented with this world to gather into the cave in the spirit under his wings. He shall send from the Shamaim from heaven and save me from the reproach of him, the hatred of him, the jealousy of him that swallowed me up, our enemies, our captives. Selah. Selah means pause for a second and just think on that. He will save you. He will rescue from those who are your captives. Do you hear that? Hebrews, Hebrew Israelites. Do you hear that? Gentiles who believe also, who know by now who we are. Hallelujah. We are just as humble by it as as you are hallelujah but there's an order to things in this world Yahuwah shall send forth his mercy <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> he shall send forth his mercy and his truth that's what we need beloved right this is for we're gathering together into that spiritual cave that spiritual hiding place who is Yah all that are in debt, discontented, all that are depressed, 
We're making a covenant that from here on, no matter how much they turn the heat up, we are for him. We are for Yah. We are for Yahusha, the one who saves. My soul is among lions. And I lie even among them that are set on fire. They are so heated towards us. This is why they come at us the way they do. Even the sons of men, talking about Gentiles, talking about heathen, whose teeth are spears and arrows. They they cut with the words they say. They cut with their hatred. And their tongue is a sharp sword. Be thou exalted, O Elohim. Be thou exalted, O Elohim. Hallelujah. I'm going to say it one more time for the people in the back. Be thou exalted, O Elohim. Our Abba Yahuwah. Above the heavens, let thy glory, not my glory, not yours. Let thy glory, O Yah, be above all the earth. They have prepared a net for my steps. They try to make the Bible illegal. They try to make it cut off what you can say and what you can't say. They preparing a net for our steps. My soul is bowed down. We're cut. We need your rescue. They have digged a pit for us into the midst whereof they are fallen themselves. Y'all said they, the pit that they digging for us, for his children, they going to fall into it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They will fall into the pit. They are falling themselves. Selah. Pause and think about that. Think about that anxiety that's on you. Think about that discontent, that depression, that, that debt. Think about the, those enemies that hate you. That trap is being sprung for them. The very one they try to spring for us. Oh, Awake up, my glory. Awake, sultry and heart. He's playing in the cave, playing songs. This is why we continue to sing, right? No matter what's going on. I will awake early. Listen, this is the battle. This is the, the, the key to the battle. I will awake early. I will praise thee, O Yahuwah, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great unto the Shamaim and thy truth unto the clouds. Keep speaking truth, beloved. Be thou exalted, O Yahuwah, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. Hallelujah. Psalms chapter 142. It's a short one. Listen up. This is the still. It's it's Mashiel, a Mashiel of David, a song of David, a prayer when he was in the cave. This is something else he wrote. We're talking about gathering together into that secret place of the Most High. Gathering together, even though we're online, we still get to to see and hear one another and connect. I feel every time you guys write something, every time you comment, I feel it. I, I sense His love on me through you guys. Do you sense my sincere love for you? Hallelujah. We're gathering. We're discontented. We're in debt. We're in distress. Our enemies are uh, are, are setting up a net, a trap for us, but they're going to fall into it. This is because y'all gave them the answer. Even in uh, it's in our crying out. It's in our getting up early. It's in our being unified. I cried unto Yahuwah with my voice. It must be your voice too, beloved. Cry now. With my voice unto Yahuwah did I make my supplication of life. Please bless your family, Abba Bless my brothers and sisters. Bring them out. Cause them to, 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 to be victorious over the sins in their life. Hallelujah. I poured out my complaint before him. This is why we get on up. This is why we don't let sleep dominate. This is why we don't let anything that we have to do take over that time where we get in the Word. 
right, family? I poured out my complaint before him. I showed before him my trouble. I confessed my sins before him. David did these things. It, this is why he was a he was he was called the apple of Yah's eye. And not we seen how much he got into trouble, so it wasn't his perfection. It was his willingness to quickly repent, to confess all those things, to get up and keep moving. It's those that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Right, beloved? If you hear me when you hear this, put those sevens in the chat. Put them in the comp. Just put them in there, sevens. And, and that's all. I understand, I understand that you understand. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, this is when this is what we need when we're overwhelmed. We're also making a covenant amongst ourselves, family, that we're going to hold on. That no matter what the enemy throws at us, that we are already victorious. When my spirit was overwhelmed, when he, like, I couldn't take it anymore. Sometimes we can't take it. That's why sometimes you see me on here and I'm just bawling. Sometimes I can't take it. When my spirit is overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path. In the way wherein I walk, have they privily laid a snare. They sleep, they secretly are laying traps for you, those that hate you, those that don't believe that we are the people. Those that know it and hate us because of it, want to see us slip, want to see us fall, want to see us in sin. I say that, that we go fully, full on righteous online from now on, in our thoughts, in our speech, in our lives, in our physical lives, in our conversation. The, the Bible calls our conversation our walk with God. We, we, make, we make a covenant today to hold on. It said in the last days in the scripture, don't don't ask me where it said, but it says there, there's not going to be any any wrongdoing found in Judah. Hallelujah. I like to think that's all of us walking that walk out because Yah is so near. Hallelujah. I looked on my right hand and beheld, but there was no man that would know me. They didn't know what I was going through. The, the, the people at your job, some of your family members, some of the closest folks, they don't know. This is why Yahushua was teaching and one of his disciples came to him and said, um, Yahushua, our king, your family's outside, your mother, your brother, and your sisters, they they want to talk to you. He said, you know what? Those that are sitting at my feet, that's my mama. If you're sitting at my feet, that's my brother. That's my sister. Your family in the, in the flesh is not always going to follow you. Are you going to move on? Any man that comes to me, Yahushua said, and does not give up everything he has, he cannot be my disciple. I cried unto thee, O Yahuwah. I said, Thou art my refuge. You are my place to run and hide, Yahushua. Is he that place for you? And my portion in the land of the living. And while I'm still here on this earth, while I'm in this land, he, and this is why I don't chase money. I don't chase stuff. He is my portion. He is my riches. Hallelujah. If you hear me, put a, <laughs> I heard her brother say, just put a seven thousand in the in the in the comments if you hear me on that. But that means you have to hear me out through this message. Do not turn it off. This is your blessing coming for you. Attend unto my cry. When I'm crying out, y'all. When I'm overwhelmed. When it's too much for me. Don't let my enemies overcome me. Don't let my own mind, my own lack of faith overcome me. Attend unto my cry, for I am brought very low. 
And this is what we need sometimes, beloved. It's when we're brought low. Bring yourself down to his feet. Bring yourself down. Humble yourself. And in due time, he will lift you up. But he's speaking of his situation. He's like, I'm brought very low. Are you distressed today? Are you in debt today? Are you discontent with this world? Deliver me from my persecutors. For they are stronger than I. This is mighty David. Dawid. Who was victorious over his foes. Who slayed his foes. But he, he knew who was giving him the victory, beloved. They are stronger than I. He knew it was because of Yah's strength and Yah's mercy. He knew he had to get up from his sins and walk in obedience and Yah would give him the victory. This is why his 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 enemies were made a footstool. I want my enemies to be made a footstool under my feet. He says, and this is the last scripture, bring my soul out of the prison. As your sins have you locked up, bound up in chains. The anointing breaks the yoke, the Bible says. It's the anointing that broke drugs off my life. The anointing that broke alcoholism off my life. It was the anointing that destroyed uh, adultery and sexual immorality. It was the, the anointing destroys the yoke. Our people, our people know about the yoke. We wore the yoke. This is one of the things that Deuteronomy 28 says would be evidence of who are the people. Because we were unrighteous and unholy before Yah. Now we must bow ourselves to the to the ground low so He can lift us up. It is our time. Arise, Israel. Arise, brothers. Arise, sisters. Be strengthened in the Ruach HaKadosh. Hear his voice telling you that you're victorious coming out of the mouth of your brother Koya the Judean. Bring my soul. Father, bring uh, my family's soul out of prison. Hallelujah. I pray that in King Yahusha's mighty name. By the blood we have overcome. They, have, oh, they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Hallelujah. This is our overcoming. Bring our souls out of prison. Hallelujah. That we may praise thy name. Bring thy souls out of prison that we might, we family might praise his name. It's through those, those victories that we start to praise him. But until we get the victory, we still got to praise him. This is what Judah, they did with Judah when the army was coming before him. They put Judah out front. Judah names means praise. You put your praise out front, hallelujah, and you will come out victorious. The righteous shall come past me about. I'm surrounded by you, family. I surround you, and we are surrounded by many angels. We are surrounded by, there are more of us with us than with our enemies. They can't see him, and we can't see him. But do you know in the spirit that it is, that they are outnumbered? Hallelujah. The righteous shall compass me about. For thou shalt deal bountifully with me. Yah, look for Yah to deal bountifully with you. Expect his favor. Not because of who you are. Because you're a nobody. I'm a nobody. But because who you belong to. 
gather, let's gather together, family. If you're discontented, if you're in debt, if you're distressed, we make a covenant right now, hallelujah, to attach ourselves to Yah, to make time for him, to make room for him, as the song says. Hallelujah. We are Israel. A little, little more to go, family. A few more steps. We're almost at the finish line. Let's hold on and hold one another up. Seriously, authentically praying for one another to make it and for Yah to make a move on our behalf to even destroy our enemies. They've been out to destroy us. See, I get confused sometimes because Yah says to pray for your enemies. <laughs> pray for those that despitefully use you. <sighs> I'm going to keep fighting, family. You keep fighting. I love you with the love of Yahuwah, with the love of Yahusha. Your brother, he loves you. This is why I do this. Be blessed. Kwam Yasharal. Arise, Israel. Amen. I'm second. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.